Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk a little bit about how to obtain a YouTube data API key. So this is going to allow us to write programs and applications that will be able to scrape data and interact with YouTube uh, programmatically. So to get this key that's going to allow our application to do this, just come here to Google and we are going to search for um, YouTube data API obtaining authorization credentials. So if you just plug that in, it should take you to this website should be the first hit. Um, I'll put this link to this directly in the description of this video if you want to just get there. But what this is going to allow us to do now is get a little bit of information about how to get these uh, API keys. So um, I'll let you read this a little bit. Uh, one thing to maybe mention is now at this point, you're going to want to make sure that you are signed into your Google account so you can associate the keys that we're going to generate with your account. But assuming that you are signed in as I am right now, let's just come here to uh, down here where it says create credentials. And then we are gonna go look for the uh, API that we want to interact with. So I'm gonna come here to library and uh, what we're gonna search for now is uh, just search for YouTube and it should be here, the YouTube data API version three. So let's click here and it shows here's the uh, API that we're interested in interacting with. So I'm just going to click on this and now we're going to go ahead and enable this. So once you click enable and again, make sure you're signed in before you do this. So now we're signed into our account and now we should be able to um, enable this. We'll give this a second to activate and then we'll take some next steps. Okay, so here we are. We're at this page now. The uh, API is enabled, so let's come up here and click on uh, Create Credentials. And we're going to have to pick which API we're using. Um, the data we are going to look for is, I'm going to be interested in public data. So I'll click on Public Data, click on Next, and then give this a little bit of time to work. And now what we've got is we've got our API key down here. Obviously, I've got mine blurred out because I don't want this to, to be public information, but you should be able to copy this now and use this for whatever applications you need. You know, for example, I've got this little script here. In fact, I've got another video dedicated on um, talking about this script, but this is gonna allow me to use that API key and uh, download a whole bunch of comments from um, all the videos in a given playlist. So just as an example, we can kind of go and do our imports up here and then down here with our API key, I'll just paste mine in like that. And then what we can go ahead and do is go ahead and use now the Google API and the YouTube data API to basically get all of these comments from the videos. And again, um, the, I've got a dedicated video on all of this. This is going to take a little bit to run, but uh, well, I can show you a sample of what this will do. This will allow us to basically do something like this, basically grab all of the comments um, on a given video or actually an entire playlist, and you can download all of them just like this using that key. So there you go. This is a quick video talking about how do you get a Google API key and particularly to use it to uh, programmatically um, use the YouTube API. So I uh, hope it was helpful. I'll catch you in another video. Bye.